Good day to everyone. I'm going to present on life cycle assessment of anaerobic digestion, a review of findings and opportunities for anaerobic digestion development in sub-Saharan Africa. This is a presentation of a paper and uh, accepted under in the ninth International Renewable and Sustainable Energy Conference. The authors include myself, Dr. Trust Nobu, Professor Edson Zenda, and Professor Mohamed Belaid. Mm. Just uh, to give a background information, I think the background information has to do with the issues to do with waste management as a challenge in majority of urban areas within sub-Saharan Africa. Issues to do with the non-collection of waste, indiscriminate collection, and in case that waste has been collected, the management or treatment processes are also unsustainable and posing human health and environmental risks, uh, largely because the waste is disposed of at uh, dump sites which are not engineered and are not sanitary in nature. So in this picture, you're actually seeing a lot of waste being dumped on the roadside, the overspilling skip bins and all, and all that. Uh, this is actually a, a, an ISO and a not good so view to see. And it's a, it's a daily uh, it's a daily um, situation in majority of urban environments within sub-Saharan Africa. It's not only a peculiar situation that you can only say you find it in Harare or in Zimbabwe. This is just uh, to illustrate how unsustainable the dumping of um, waste at dump sites can be. This is um, a fire outbreak at one of the dump sites in Zimbabwe at Pomona. And these fair up outbreaks are, are common. They, they are frequent and common uh, due to the generation of a methane, which methane even ignited results in such um, blaze of fire um, that are very difficult to control. And the uh, worrying there are residents that uh, resides in the neighborhood of these dump sites. And uh, in, on top of that, there are also issues to do with the uh, groundwater pollution, considering these dump sites are not, uh, are not lined and there is no collection and treatment of leachate. So largely the water, the underground water around these uh, dump sites is also not quite, uh, quite uh, suitable for potable water uses. So if you look at uh, the anaerobic digestion process, these are the this is the, largely the feed stocks, the process, the products, electricity. And from a life cycle perspective and analysis, from the reviewed studies under this study, we it has been established that life say, anaerobic digestion, the digestion is quite a um, sustainable way of managing, especially the biodegradable matter of the municipal solid waste um, that is generated within this urban uh, setups considering the renewable energy production capabilities and the production of a biofertilizer that could be used or that could replace the use of chemical fertilizers. So it is those two issues, issues to do with the renewable energy production, production of um, biofertilizer together with its, it being a, a waste treatment environmental, groundwater, and surface water conservation um, process that gives AD an edge from a life cycle perspective. However, too, worryingly, uh, from the life cycle assessment review of the studies that we did, only a few, an insignificant number, have been found to have been carried out in, in, in sub-Saharan Africa. And this is actually also, I think this so you can as well testify to that. If you look at the global biogas based electricity generation statistics from 2017, you will actually see that Africa in general has got a very low or insignificant share, which is actually also, I think, corroborating the issues to do that there is little penetration of an application of life cycle assessment for sustainability assessment. and other. So it's in our finding, our recommendation that life cycle assessment must be um, promoted and in Africa. 